tribalism has been ingrained into our species since the early days of humanity, during the caveman era. The tribalistic tendencies that our ancestors picked up were likely integral to their tribe's survival. But these tendencies do not have a place in the modern world, yet we still see it present to this very day. Today I am going to explain to you how tribalism has negatively affected our species, and how this protective instinct caused the deaths of millions of people. Tribalism, in simple terms, means that you prioritise your tribe over others no matter the cost. As I mentioned previously, when our species' brains were less developed, and we were less self-aware of our own existence, and the morality that comes with being hyper-self-aware, our species knew about nothing but survival. Logically, to the humans back then, it made the most sense to wipe out a tribe that is in the same area as you, rather than risk losing your tribe and its resources. But as we have advanced biologically, socially, and diplomatically, we have come to know the value of people. People are a resource. If you incentivize people to work for you, and give them good benefits, they are likely to be loyal and open to making bad deals. While in an ideal world, all humans would act based on what is right, sadly, we do not live in an ideal world. We live in a world affected by the bloody past of tribalism. The slave trade, world wars and genocides were all based on the tribalistic tendencies of our species. All of these crimes against humanity were motivated by the social, financial and political gain of the groups who were committing these acts. They had no empathy for the groups of people who were affected by these heinous crimes. During the slave trade, they looked down on the people who they were enslaving, creating a false story of them being a subhuman species, whose cognitive abilities are much less, which is of course factually incorrect. But by doing this, it is easier to get people to follow you if they believe that the group that they are abusing is beneath them. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the definition of tribalism. It is the same with geopolitics. Countries discriminate against other countries based on their ethnicity, religion, politics, as well as the state of the country. When you think about this world we live in deeply, we have humans, us, who are one species of approximately 8.7 million species on the planet. Yet just because we are intelligent, we believe we own the world's dirt. Different groups over the years have held lands over the world. Most resources that powerful countries have accumulated have been stolen through the love child of tribalism, that being colonialism. Evil prevailed most of the time in the past. There were not many critical thinkers, sadly. Just big egos and small peepees. The key to humanity's survival of the potential great filter that our species may be facing is to band together for the betterment of our species and all the species that live on this planet. I don't think people get it in their brain enough that planet Earth is like a raft in the sea. That we are just sat here stabbing like, ah, I'm sure this will be fine. I thought personally that we would see the end of colonialism, but we are seeing an invasion going on right now in Europe. So it's good to know that we are still doing our best to fight the pressing issues, you know, um, climate change, the thing that's affecting all of us and is going to be irreversible very soon. I personally hope that we can elect some officials that actually care about humanity and the planet, rather than expanding their ever-expanding grip of control by making the class divide bigger so they can fill theirs and their buddies' pockets and have a hell of a party before they mess the planet up for the future generations that their tiny brains can't fathom will exist after them. So keep protesting and keep fighting the good fight, ending interspecies hatred for these caveman-ass reasons that politicians have shoved down your throats for years. So let's come together and create a community of critical thinkers who are willing to have a conversation about all of these issues and that can find a solution that will hopefully benefit the people of the globe. So I hope you all plan on sticking around and having conversations that we can hopefully put forward to the politicians of the world and we can keep them humble, keep them down to earth because we always know that these scumbags are going to get elected. All the elections, they never have good candidates. You know, even the uh, even in, in the country I live in, we always have terrible candidates for 
who's going to be the prime minister of, of England, like of the UK, like you know, it's is is they're always garbage options. Like they're always just people with their own trash agenda of just filling their own pockets, and you know they don't really care about any other things other than that. So it would be really really nice to see some good, intelligent people who give a crap about the world and not just hate the planet and just want to kill all humans and just make money and stuff like can we actually not just like form together like humanity is supposed to be like one species like i know it makes sense that there is interspecies conflict but it really makes the most sense for the future of the species to just not be at conflict with your own species so that we can band together and think about more pressing ideas like how to travel space how to do all of these things like that, that can open up our species like to much more of a wide array of ideas and speculative technologies of the universe like it probably makes a lot more sense than just fighting between ourselves and probably ending our species existence you know before we even start getting started so you know what can we do i suppose but i i as i say before i hope you enjoyed this please subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell i love you all much love peace out spread as much love as you can peace out baby